With snow on the way, several high schools around the Twin Cities will have to make big decisions about prom. At Forest Lake High School, more than 600 students are planning to drive about 30 miles to their prom at the Landmark Center in St. Paul. But the pending snowstorm has forced school officials into a tough decision about whether to postpone. John Lawrenson shows us all the factors that come into play. My date was going to go get his tux last night, but I told him maybe you should hold off one more day. The prom theme for Forest Lake is under the northern lights, and it's possible it could happen under a foot of snow. A lot of driving will be an issue too, especially with people in prom buses, because you can't reschedule that. For high school students, it really comes down to cost. Every prom goer pays $40 for a ticket, not to mention everything else they have to rent and buy. From dresses and tuxes to transportation, pictures and flowers, it's not unusual for a student to spend up to $500 on prom, and much of that is non-refundable. When you have 600 kids, that's, that's a big decision. Jim Caldwell is in his first year as principal at Forest Lake High School, and Mother Nature has thrown him a curveball. He says a decision to postpone prom is actually harder than canceling school. That's a lot of kids that we're potentially putting on the roads in buses and cars, um, going down to the Landmark Center in St. Paul. Who would have ever thought that we'd be sitting here having a discussion about postponing a prom in the middle of April? By the afternoon, school leaders had decided that prom will go on as planned, but parents can decide to keep their kids at home. You know what? We've never run into this before. It wasn't just students waiting on the decision. Forest Lake Floral has 200 orders of corsages and boutonnieres on the line. If prom had been postponed, they would have lost more than $3,000 worth of flowers. Now they're ready to get to work. So we're just going to continue to work here from A through Z and try to get each order filled for each of these kids. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Some schools have decided to move prom from Saturday to Sunday, while others in southern Minnesota are postponing until May.